Mr. Satya, let's try to understand the question. You are given the diameter of a bicycle wheel, which is 77 centimeter. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. Now, Mr. Satya, before we start this question, you need to understand one thing and just let me know if uh, you have any doubt when I'm discussing this with you. Uh, one second. Okay. Can you give me a minute? One second here. One second. So, Mr. Satya, what we need to understand is that if, you know, this is the wheel of a cycle and this point P is touching the ground. Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Satya, what, you, what we need to understand is that if this wheel starts revolving like this, so, and let us assume that this is a ground, this is a, this is the ground, yeah? Now, when it takes full turn, when it takes full turn, when it takes full turn, so for example, when this wheel comes to this position again, when this point P reaches here, then Mr. Satya, are you able to understand that whole of this distance would be covered like this, Mr. Satya? Yes. Mr. Sartak, am I correct? Mr. Yes. Sartak, am I correct? Satya, have you understood or should I explain more? Also, can you explain? Yeah. So, see what you can try to do is the activity that you can do at home is so for example you take a you take any cylindrical any cylindrical uh, object so for example you take this uh, you take uh, so for example any jar which is cylindrical in shape or uh, which will be a typical cylindrical thing that you will find at home uh, if you have a uh, this uh, talcum powder usually talcum powders come in this cylindrical shape so have you understood yes sir so if you take this talcum powder uh, cylindrical or if you take any medicine here, yeah, usually these medicines come in cylindrical shape. So the activity that you will need to do is on your table, on your table, this is a sort of activity that you should do. And I will ask you about this activity in the next lecture. On the table, put the cylindrical jar like this. Sartha, uh, Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. So that the cylindrical, that cylindrical medicine bottle lies on the table like this have you understood yes sir now what you do is you mark a point here have you understood yeah and then you roll the then you roll the roll this box so when it rolls when it rolls what you will observe is that when this point comes on the top again this whole distance would be equal to this distance. Satya, Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Sardak, is it correct? Yes, sir. See, if you don't find a jar, cylindrical jar, all you can do is you can take this, uh, that is a bit small in size, you can take a bisleri cap. Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. This lady cap. It's a bit small in size, but the logic remains the same. Now, put the bisleri cap like this on the table and roll it on the table. Just give it one round. You can mark a point on the cap when it completes full circle. So, for example, till here it completes full circle. When this point P comes on the top again, this distance, this distance will be equal to this distance. 
Satya, have you understood or should I explain more? Understood, sir. Okay. Now let us go back to the question. So what the question is asking is, what the question is asking is that you have this bicycle wheel whose uh, whose diameter is 77 centimeter yeah and this is the plain ground yeah Satya understood the question yes sir on this plain ground this what I am trying to explain is that when this bicycle wheel covers one roll so that it comes back to so that point P is again on the ground this distance which is covered this distance which is covered will be equal to will be equal to this distance. Satya, is it making sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Satya, can you tell me what this distance is from here to here? What this distance is? Mr. Satya. Sir, so how will we know that? Mr. Sarthak. So, the circumference of the, the circumference. The circumference of circle. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. So I thought you asked in the value. Yeah, this distance. This distance is the circumference of circle. Any doubt? No. And what is the formula for finding the circumference of a circle, Mr. Satya? 2 pi r. 2 pi r can also be written as 2 r into pi. Therefore, the formula can also be written as a d into pi, where d is the diameter of the circle. Mr. Satya, any doubt? Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. Now, if, if I put the value of d to be 77, and I put the value of pi to be 22 by 7, okay. So, 2 are can be written as a d into pi the value of d is 77 the value of pi is 22 by 7 so 7 11 the and 22 into 11 22 into 11 is 242 centimeters 242 centimeters now in one roll or in one revolution we will cover 242 centimeter or vice versa is 242 centimeter for covering 242 centimeter we need to revolve the wheel once so for 242 centimeter we require one revolution for one centimeter we require one upon 242 revolution and for covering 6050 because 6050 when we convert the required distance which is given in meter into centimeter this would be equal to 6050 centimeter so for covering 6050 centimeter we will have 6050 upon 250 Mr. Sardak is it correct now? Mr. Sardak is it correct now? Yes sir. So 6050 divided by 242 would be equal to 25 revolutions Mr. Satya is it making sense? Yes, sir. So, Mr. Satya, basically, the basic thing that we need to understand about this question is the fundamental thing before we start doing this question is that this wheel, which is 77 centimeter in diameter, when it takes one complete revolution, it is able to cover 242 centimeter. Mr. Satya, are we clear about this? Yes, sir. So, and that is why I am suggesting to do that activity 
that is why i have suggested you to do this activity just try to do this here because th only then it will start making sense that this whole revolution this whole revolution is actually actually equal to this distance so when this wheel when this wheel rolls on the ground rolls on the ground and this point p comes back here this distance from here till here this distance is equal to the circumference of the of the wheel so 2 into r can be written as d so this can be written as d into pi so is it making sense or not yes sir so this is how these questions are done that one revolution in one revolution the for example in this particular case in one revolution the this wheel will cover 242 cm once we are able to understand this then the question becomes very simple because then all that we need to calculate is for covering 60 50 cm this is given in meter 60.50 meter this is equal to 60 50 cm so for covering 60 50 cm basically we ne need 25 revolutions satya any doubt still no doubt sir mr sarath can you doubt no sir so mr satya what i'll suggest is that uh, just go through all these questions again mr satya okay sir so do all these questions these three questions these four questions these four questions uh we have discussed the questions in detail and if you are not clear about the area or the circumference of the circle then just go through the two videos in this uh, playlist mr satya okay sir okay so let's meet on monday yeah okay sir okay Okay, Mr. Sathya, Mr. Sathya. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked that English teacher. Like, she said she won't be able to do because, like, she she also has classes. So, then what do you want? How many hours do you want? Sir, uh, I'm fine with any time, but five to go. Yeah, okay. Then it's okay. Then four to five, no problem. No problem. Okay. 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 okay.